roads are just magical. I really love these back one lane roads. Usually you can't even find them on the map. You just see a road on a random mountain and start driving and see where it takes you. Usually it takes you somewhere very, very cool and pretty remote. So I'm hoping this road will do the same. outside all the time and you don't have a rain jacket is that there's not much room to move around you basically have your bed and a little bit of space in the front and that's it which after several days of um, rain can get pretty claustrophobic <laughs> but it is cozy so I guess that's the positive part of it however the cool thing about New Zealand is that it's really set up for for people in camper vans because typically you know, it's full of tourists and everybody's in a van. Um, and so there's these, this really cool app, it's called um, CamperMate, and there's many other kinds, this is just the, the app that I use. And basically it will show you like all these different places you can go and camp um, for a certain price. Some of them low and it's just a bathroom and a space where you can park your car or with more facilities. But, um, when I did my research, I decided to buy a self-contained van. And how do you get a self-contained van? Let me show you. You need a porta loop. You need a little sink. And of course, you would need water. Just, uh, just checking uh, all the rules and all the laws and, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, definitely up to code. So that, that, that's good. <laughs> Which basically means I can camp many different places as long as there's not a sign that says do not camp here. Freedom camping is such a cool thing because you can go so many different places and just drive down random roads and find a little pull off and sleep there. Like. <laughs> Trying to move away from it now, but it is quite a cool thing as long as you're respectful. Don't leave trash there, don't don't do things that you wouldn't do at your own house, like treat the, the land with respect because other people will be coming through as well. And that's really nice to be able to just freedom camp and be out in nature wherever you want to be, almost wherever you want to be. If it wasn't so cold and windy, I would camp here because that view is insane. But on to the next place, and hopefully, it won't be as windy and it won't be as cold. <laughs> Seriously, what happened to summer? Not okay with this. <laughs> <laughs> 